is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW Supreme Collection action figure review on the brand new Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection CM Punk figure. Now, this figure has eluded me for a long time. I've been trying to get my hands on this figure so much that I made so many deals for this figure that it was ridiculous. Like, I had a bunch of deals overlapping. I, I, you know, I ordered one off Walmart app. I got Cody. I did it again. I got Cody again. I did it again. I got canceled. I ordered it again two months later, and it works finally. But in the background of doing so, I made a couple trades I ended up finding one at retail, and now I am uh, I have quite a collection of Supreme CM Punks because I had so much overlap while trying to get my first copy. So, I don't know if you guys have ever been there before, but that is what happened to me this week. Nonetheless, man, today we're diving into the Supreme Collection CM Punk. Man, this figure looks absolutely insane. I am really excited for it again. It took forever to find this thing, but here it is, man. This is, uh, I think this is the second to last Punk figure we're going to see. I think the Unmatched Series 8, you know, the Ring of Honor version of Punk, will be the last punk that we do see. I don't think his new Supreme, like the Series 4, is no longer coming. I think the Thunder Rosa is put on hiatus for now. So this is what we got, man. This is pretty much, uh, this is this is all she wrote, man, until we get maybe a WWE version if he comes back, or maybe, I, I don't know, maybe he's under the mask. I don't think he is, but you know, that, that I guess that's certainly a possibility even though I don't think it is. I think he is done. But I'm hopeful he'll return to WWE so we can get a damn Ultimate Edition, which would be cool to compare with this figure, man. But here is the side of the packaging. You guys know you got accessories the second gear over here, and then on the other side, we do have some interchangeable head sculpts, get the championship, interchangeable hands, lots of fantastic stuff going on, man, and on the side, he is number seven, series four, number seven there, and he does have the Walmart exclusive sticker up here, man, but I, I don't want to waste any more time, man, I do want to finally crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, and see if the CM Punk Supreme Collection from AEW and Jazzwares is indeed the best CM Punk figure ever made by any company ever. I'm gonna shut the hell up, put him on the rotating base, and find out what the hell CM Punk Supreme edition is all about. So here's the Walmart exclusive Supreme Collection CM Punk figure out of the packaging, man. And wow, I am pretty damn impressed by this figure, man. I am, uh, I'm impressed. I'm enjoying myself a lot. Yeah, uh, this figure, this figure is a real deal right now, from what I'm seeing. You get a ton of bang for your buck. I'm really enjoying what I got so far, man. Now, if this is the last CM Punk figure that we ever see from any major company for at least a while, or whenever the hell the case is, they have knocked it out of the park so far with my journey through this figure so far. But this is Walmart exclusive. You cannot pick this up anywhere, man. Again, the Supreme Collection Series Four figure is no longer coming out, I don't think. I, I think that thing is done, and I'm pretty sure Supreme Collection figures are now going to be Walmart exclusive moving forward, so that is also a thing, man. So, you know, take that with what you will, but what we're going to do first is dive into the accessories we get with the Supreme CM Punk, and then, of course, we will run it back and take a closer look at the figure itself. And with Supreme Collections, you know, you get a ton of accessories. It is the equivalent of an Ultimate Edition from Mattel and WWE. So with those things being said, man, let's dive into CM Punk Supreme Collection and find out what the hell he's all about. All right, so getting into the CM Punk accessories that you get with the Walmart exclusive Supreme Edition, man. It is a Supreme Collection figure, so you guys know it's going to be loaded up with accessories. Again, it is the equivalent of an Ultimate Edition from Mattel. So, you know, the baseline for Mattel Ultimate Editions that we talk about on the channel is a championship. This has that. Interchangeable heads. This has that. Clothed goods. This has that. And then uh, something that Ultimate Editions don't do for Mattel so far is give us interchangeable gear. And this has that. So this checks all of the boxes above and beyond with a lot of interchangeable hands and a bonus accessory. So let's shut the hell up and dive in. So getting into the first head sculpt, I really, really like this one, man. This is like the smirking, that, you know, that just evil, smirky, cocky CM Punk smiling head sculpt, and he does kind of have, like, his 90s haircut going on, like, with the, you know what I'm talking about, like, kind of parted down the middle there, but this looks just like CM Punk to me. This might be my favorite head sculpt out of the entire bunch, I, and, you know, I typically don't like just the bright, smiley head sculpts, but got a real, like, Colin Farrell thing going on with his, with his A, and he looks pretty good, man. I like it. I like the haircut. I like you got the tattoo behind the ear. Very good head sculpt right here. I like this one a lot, and I think it may have the most likeness. Next up, we have the yelling head sculpt, which is another good one. Very expressive. And both of these are very expressive. And these have the most likeness to me. I just like the way these look. And it's very similar to the Blood and Guts version, but it does have like the matted, nasty, bloody hair and face. But it is very, very similar to it. But it has better likeness in my opinion. This is this is phenomenal. I like both of these the most. Next up is kind of like just our blank expression. And it still looks just like CM Punk. I like how realistic it looks. It doesn't look very, you know, cartoony like we've seen in the past with Mattel and stuff like that. So this is really, really good. I think they 
they uh, they nailed this. I think it looks better than the first go around for the CM Punk. Even if it is the same head sculpt, which I don't think it is. This this looks good, man. This is uh, this looks to be new, and the sculpt is really really good on these. So they nailed that. And then you have like this kind of like snarling lip sort of you know like snarling pissed off head sculpt, which I like as well. So you get two like messy hair like mid match head sculpts, and then you have like the neat hair like he's about to you know like you have the calm before the storm, and then you have the storm coming in at you. So pretty good right there. I like all these, dude. The, the lightness on these is crazy. Like very, very good, man. Phenomenal job by Jazzwares and the whole team over there. Like, look at that right there, man. That likeness is phenomenal. Now, outside of that, you do get a beautiful AEW microphone, man. Love it. Uh, anybody who watches the channel knows the memes and the gifts and the what? The gifts. Like, I've made an AEW mic gif. What the hell are you talking about, Brad? But we do have a nice AEW microphone. I think it's perfect for CM Punk because he's always cutting promos and crushing it on the microphone. We also got an AEW World Championship. You know, up to this point, we've seen this a ton with different characters. I mean, name your character. They have come with a ton of AEW Champions. So, I don't have a problem with throwing this in there. I think it adds extra bonus, you know, if you haven't seen a CM Punk figure and you finally get it and you get the world title. So, they are knocking it out of the park with this. Great looking championship. Always been a fan of it and it looks good right here. Now, with this figure, you do get two different cloth goods. Now, we do have this, like, tank top tee right here, which is just, you know, a normal best in the world CM Punk graphic. It's got his fists and the lightning and the Chicago flag, best in the world. And it is Velcro. They do have Velcro on the back, but I don't know if this, this is going to stain the figure, man. So, I'm really worried about putting it on there and everything like that. I just, you know, I, I need to figure out a way to get all that ink out of there. There's got to be a way. I've heard people like washing them in their washing machine and doing different things is a way to, you know, get that stuff out of there. But I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But it's still phenomenal. I like that we get this, you know. I mean, a white version. I, I like that it's different than the version we got with the ringside exclusive. But, you know, it being black, it is going to stain the figure more than likely. But it is a nice accessory. And then you get an even better cloth accessory with this best in the world hoodie, which is pretty much the hoodie equivalent of this, of this other shirt over here but it does have a white graphic instead of like that Carolina Blue-esque graphic. But on the front, it has the same logo and then on the back and it does Velcro in the front. So you do get that. You know, we saw this back with the Walmart exclusive Punk, but it was an AEW hoodie. But now we have a, uh, you know, a CM Punk hoodie to go with it. And it looks really, really good. It's got the cuffs on there. It's got the fake pockets. It's got a hood on it. It is a just sick hoodie. And I'm a big hoodie guy. I wear hoodies year round, even in the summertime. So always fans of a hoodie. And I think CM Punk looks good with the hoodie on there. It's just, is it going to stain the figure? More than likely. So it I'm very cautionary. You gotta be very cautious when you're dealing with AEW figures and their cloth goods at this juncture. Now, outside of that, we do get interchangeable hands here. We do have our fisted hands that have drug free on there, of course, and then he does have the black X's. And it's got white pegs, so that's nice, but we do get interchangeable fisted hands that also have the, you know, the tape sculpted on there, so it's not just flat paint, which is nice. We also have mic holding or weapon wielding style hands here. They're just a, you know, a nice C grip hand right there, so that's nice. Got the tattoos and everything going on, same as the fists. We also get thwipping hands, you know, so you can come out there and web sling around the city and, you know, you know, web up all your different enemies there. But these are a nice sculpt. I like these. The tape looks good and everything like that. But seriously, though, this, this is great. I, I do like the these unique style hands here for our CM Punk. So, you know, you can pose them with your, your Spider-Man collection and have them thwipping around the city. And then probably my favorite interchangeable hands is going to be the go-to-sleep hands right here, man. So you do have, like, these flat palms, Iron Man blasting style hands is what I like to call them. But he can, you know, do the go-to-sleep signature motion and do prayer hands, you know, different stuff like that but these look really good very well sculpted great paint apps great sculpt all overall very damn good and we're gonna do a pose off after we cover the rest of the figure and then our two different gear options that we get with this cm punk we do have the black white and gold here you guys are unaware with with supreme collections you can pop off the torso and give yourselves two different interchangeable gears and we're gonna cover them both right here right quick before we dive into the figure itself i know this is half the figure but technically this is considered an accessory so on this one you get the white stars with the gold trim and white and this is you know it's not my favorite gear ever, but it's a solid gear. I think it looks clean and everything like that. Very clean. Then you have the legs going down into the knee pad. Not my favorite there, but you know, they're not bad. They don't really prevent a ton of articulation, so that's always nice. And then he does have the same kick pad style, you know, just the signature CM Punk kick pads in the black, gold, and white, which look really good as well. And I like the thigh size here. They're not like overly slim, so that's really good. But this is my least favorite gear option of the two options you do get with this figure. Because on this gear, we get the camo black and white. And for obvious reasons, I I like this gear a lot, man. Reminds me a lot of the old ringside exclusive. Reminds me a lot of his G.I. Joe gear. So this is right up my alley, man. You get the black stars with the white outline. Then you got the white stripes. And then it's just a nice camo. I know it's kind of hard to see on here, but this is great, man. This might be my favorite gear they've done. I know they've done like a signature gear and stuff like that. And if we never get another CM Punk gear, we're not going to get the white gear that I like. So this is good for me. If they never make another CM Punk, I, at least we got a good gear I like. But outside of that, he's got plain black knee pads and plain black kick pads on this version of the gear. But I guess you could like switch these legs out or 
something to give him different kick pads from a different figure, but I don't really know why you'd want to do that. I like the camo gear a lot. All right, so getting into CM Punk starting out the head sculpt. I put on my favorite head sculpt. I wanted to put on my favorite one. I was going to go with the blank expression, but I felt like it was a bit boring. So I went with the more expressive head sculpt here, but going down, we already took a look at the head sculpts, but I think it fits pretty nicely on the shoulders, so that is good if you guys wanted to see that there. But going down into the torso, this is a Supreme Collection figure, so we are going to get the butterfly joints on there. And this looks good, man. Very good continuation here with the tattoo. You know, they struggle with that sometimes from different companies, but I think they nailed it right here. I, I don't have any issues with that. Uh, the skull gets a little bit cut off there, but not too, too big of a deal there. Really enjoy that. He's got the straight edge tattoo. Very uh, good tattoo work going on here. I still don't know how they get away with that Pepsi logo. I, I don't know how they do that or the Cobra logo over there, but I'm damn glad they were able to because it prevents me from having to put decals on there. But pinless joints, all the tattoo work looks really, really good here. You know, very clean, very toyetic. All, all of it's nice. He's got, you know, his cards back here. Very traditional style tattoos on there. There's a back shot of the figure there, and then he does have the camo gear on there with the stars and everything looking good. I love the sculpted tape, man. The, the sculpted tape just really completes it, I think. It's much better. It gives a lot of dimension, much better than just fl flat paint. And then he does have, you know, the camo in the front, then the uh, larger thighs there, the X's on the hands, big large knee pads in the black color, and then we do have the black kick pads here, which are, are just plain Jane, but he does have shin cut right there, which is just, I swear to God, when they put that in there, man, I, I feel like they're thinking of me right there. You guys know I love shin cut. One thing that's also funny is I saw somebody comment on my video the, the, the other day, and they said, you know, if a figure has ankle cut, like, uh, like say it's like a jogger's figure, or like an Usos, or something like that, where they have upper thigh cut, they have no shin cut, but then they have shoe rotation. Somebody said, you know, they don't need shin cut because they have the, the ankle cut. And that's just not true, man. That's just not true. It just, it, the figure feels incredibly more cheaper, in my opinion, personally, when you don't have the shin cut and the ankle cut. Like, I would rather have shin cut than ankle cut. Think about it like a, uh, like a regular figure, like a Seth Rollins, right? It has shin cut because that's where the kick pads cut, and it doesn't have foot cut, but nobody ever says anything about it. But when you lower that, you have a very long, continuous stream of no cut, and it just throws me off. So, I don't know. I want to know down below what you guys think about that. I know a lot of people don't care about that as much as me. I'm just a stickler for articulation and like really having uh, a lot of posability with my figures and like posing them around because that's what I get the most enjoyment out of is picking them up, posing them around and like doing different stuff with them. So that's that's always awesome for me. But I do want to get into some CM Punk figure comparisons after we do this little pose off. So for this figure, man, he can look all the way down. He does have a ball hinge. This is something that I think a lot of people could uh, take notes on right here instead of just a ball joint. Having a ball hinge is great because he can look all the way down and he can look for the most part all the way up, which is something you don't get in a lot of spots. He does have, you know, the full above 90 here. He can do the full rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed arm, which is fantastic. The butterfly joints are so buttery right here, man. I mean, he can cross his arms. Look at that right there. Like, barring some eye trickery and, like, photo, like, angles and stuff like that, it looks like he's crossing his arms, which is a huge deal. He has a very good ab crunch. He can turn, twist aside on the diaphragm. He can shift right here, so that's awesome. He's got ball joints, so he can do the splitsies, upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. He does have shin rotation right there, which, you know, a boot cut would probably be better. Like, I don't like how it's, like, right down the middle. Like, on kick pad figures, I guess right down the middle is not as good as, like, right at the top of the kick pad, but I don't really have an issue with that. I think it's okay. Ankles move down and up. He has a fantastic ankle pivot, and he has the toe articulation. So, this guy can pose with the best of them. Now, one pose that, you know, we saw it in the intro of the figure, but I gotta talk about it here on camera. So, this right here, man, being able to do that go-to-sleep motion and bring that hand across and then still be able to get the other hand up right there. Look at that right there, man. That is simply incredible to be able to get the go to sleep right there. That is so awesome. And you're not going to have any issue doing like it's clobbering time. Like, look, he can go down to a knee very easy. Like, dude, look at this. Like, this dude is a freaking just, just phenomenal, man. He can fly the hell away. Sorry, I had to see that. So for your AEW action figure comparisons with our Supreme Edition CM Punk. Now this Elite 16 Punk over here would be the Unmatched Series 4 Punk, but I did turn mine into a custom and now it's somewhere. I, I don't freaking know where, but I do have, I want to say I have a couple of copies of that figure. I need to unbox another one so I can have like a regular edition of that figure, you know, just chilling. But it is still really cool to see these up next to each other. We have the Blood and Guts Dog Collar Match here, CM Punk 2-Pack with MJF. We have the Ringside Exclusive Ice Cream Pop. 
promo gear style CM Punk with no wrist tape. We have the Supreme Collection from Walmart. We have the Walmart exclusive. Uh, so I guess it's like the regular, not the Supreme Walmart exclusive, but the regular unrivaled Walmart exclusive. And then we have uh, what some would deem or most would deem probably the best CM Punk figure of all time. The Elite 16 CM Punk, which I guess if we get an Ultimate Edition of this guy, I've already talked to Mattel about it. And I said, if you, if, if CM Punk returns, man, Ultimate Edition CM Punk in the Money in the Bank gear like this with all the bells and whistles, the cloth goods, all the different things, man. Imagine having that co to compare with the Supreme Collection. It would be a damn good battle. I would love to see it, but it is awesome to see all these CM Punks. And again, I hate the way everything went down, man. Unless uh, unless he's just with the company somehow and we don't know about it, which I highly doubt. You know, it was a great run. I love all his AEW figures. I, I, I love that we did have this period of time where he came back and we got to see him on TV, see him wrestle, see him in AEW and get some different things because his character is going to be vastly different. The things he's going to be doing in WWE, if he were to go there, will be vastly different. But maybe we'll see that at Survivor Series, man. Who the hell knows? We will have to see. He's certainly been doing a lot of trolling, but uh, nonetheless, that is pretty much going to wrap up the comparisons for our Supreme Collection Series CM Punk Walmart exclusive figure. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our AEW Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive CM Punk figure review, man. I am loving this figure a lot. I like picking it up, posing it around. Tons of playability with it. I love the interchangeable hands. The fact that you can even do the go-to-sleep motion with an action figure is groundbreaking. You know, I think that's so awesome. I would love to see an Ultimate Edition from Mattel just to see how it would compare to this because I think it would be a really tough ask to stack up to this figure. This figure is really phenomenal. The only thing I would say is I'm not sure if the figure, like, clothes are going to stain. I imagine they would stain, so that's kind of bummerific. I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to, like, just get that ink out of there just to see if I can use these accessories because it sucks to, to have such great accessories and not be able to use them with anything, right? Like, I don't want to have black ink all over my figures. I really want to keep them nice and dandy and, like, you can make some really awesome fix-ups using these clothes and these things we get from Jazzwear, so I really want to be able to use them, so we'll see about that, but I am loving the figure. I like the head sculpts. I like the different things going on with it. I like the interchangeable hands. I love the camo gear. I, You know, this gear's not my favorite, like the black and gold and white. Like, I like black and gold, but the camo gear is easily my favorite. I do enjoy the camo gear a lot. This is a beast, man. If you can find this, it is hit. If my store has it, it is hit. It is pretty much hitting everywhere, so definitely go check out your Walmarts, man. I think this figure's finally in stock at a lot of places. I know a lot of people have had it for months on end, and now we're finally getting it, and we had the craziness with the pre-orders and them shipping Cody out and shipping Kenny out, so really excited to finally have this figure in my hands and get to put it to the collection, man. It's going to look amazing once uh, I get this office fully set up. The, the, my biggest goal is to finish the office completely before the new year because we, you guys know that we're going to have the new... Every New Year's Day, I always post a new office tour or a full room tour, so I got to get that completed fully. We've made a, tr a tremendous amount of strides because my schedule hasn't been as, as busy, so it's been really awesome, but cannot wait to get the rest of it set up and showcase it. But this figure is phenomenal, man. If you have an opportunity to cop this figure, you need to do so. I, I think it's for... It, even if you're not a CM Punk guy, this is a beast, and I love it, and hopefully we'll see CM Punk back on our TV screens, whether it's under the AEW umbrella, the WWE umbrella. I enjoy his figures, and I want to see more of them come out, but this, as it stands, who is it the best CM Punk figure of all time? You could certainly make a case for it, and if you were to say that, I don't think I could really challenge you on it. It's damn good. It's phenomenal, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up today's CM Punk action figure review of the Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. Love and appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Also, a huge shout out to my man Rob for get, hooking me up with one of these figures as well. And he sent some other goodies. So I appreciate Rob so very much, man. Thank you so much, brother, for your continued support as always. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>